Have you ever wasted time? Come on, be honest. Raise your hand if you've ever wasted time in your entire life. Your hand should be up. I freely admit I have wasted time before too. But I want to give you four ideas on how you can minimize wasting time. Okay, you're going to waste time. It's just the way it's going to happen. But I want to give you suggestions on how to minimize wasting time. Number one, have a plan. I'm always saying, tell your time where to go instead of wondering where it went. So live proactively, live with intention instead of reactively. A lot of people wake up and what am I going to do today? I don't know. I'll scroll through Facebook. I'll scroll through Instagram. When you're not really learning, you're just wasting time. So have a plan. Now, part of that plan is put on your schedule, goof off on social media. That way, when you're goofing off on social media, you're not really wasting time because it's on your schedule. Number two, do what you love. As I study high performers in our world, I find out something very interesting. Because they're doing what they love to do, they're less likely to waste time. Are you doing what you love to do? Number three. Remove as many distractions and temptations as you can. If you're trying to write a blog post, for example, or you're trying to work on your manuscript, don't have tabs open that have Facebook and YouTube up. Don't have your email up. Just have what you need up. Maybe that's only a word processing program. So if you're writing on your manuscript and you're using a word processor, the only thing that should be active on your computer is the word processor. Maybe some streaming music so you can listen to some instrumental music, but nothing else. If you're working on a blog post, just have that website up. Don't have Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn, or YouTube up. Only have the tabs up that you need. And the fourth idea is use technology to help you. There are a lot of apps that will lock you out from other websites. So let's say you're really tempted by Facebook. You tell the software, hey, between these hours, I don't want to be able to go to Facebook. You can get this for your desktop and for your smartphone. So use technology to help you not be distracted. Those are four simple ways that you can not waste so much time. Now, I'm not saying they're going to be easy to implement. I'm saying they're simple ideas. Number one, have a plan. Live intentionally, live proactively instead of reactively. Number two, do what you love. People who are doing what they love to do are far less likely to waste time. Number three, remove as many distractions and temptations as you can so you can focus and not waste time. And idea number four, use technology to help you not waste time. All you have to do is go to your favorite search engine and ask a question. What software or what apps are available to keep me from wasting time? Believe me, you'll get plenty of results, do your research, and use technology to help you be more productive. Hey, Rockstar. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the podcast. I truly appreciate your time and attention. So I want to help you more. And the best way to do that is for you to head on over to my website, mrproductivity.com, M-I-S-T-E-R, mrproductivity.com. There you can sign up for my free email newsletter, find out about my coaching. Matter of fact, everything and anything, well, except for my credit card numbers and social security number, you can find out at mrproductivity.com. Thank you so much again for your attention. And until we meet again, my friend, which will be sooner than you think, or maybe you'd like, depending on your perspective. Don't forget, stay productive and stay positive.